Yeah, my name is Grétar Axelsson and now I'm going to show you how to make Wiener Tarta. I will, I will think uh, the recipe is at least 130 to 150 years old. Yeah, I just start with uh, doing the flour into the bowl. And baking powder is already in here. Mix that a little bit. Sugar. And mix that together. Make sure it's well mixed. Then I do the uh, eggs. A little bit of almond. This makes the taste good. And then margarine. And then we have to take it to the to the mixer. And we let that mix for about four minutes or so. We'll have it here ready, so I'll keep it in the fridge for a bit. In about four hours, then we'll take that out. We'll get some dough. And it's now been cooled. Paper, flour. Connect it a little bit. And then we roll it out. It look cold. A little bit more flour on it. Put it on a paper, that's easier to roll it out and cut it. This is uh, quite a process. Always got to have lots of flour. Now this is ready to cut. And the cutter is here. One. Two, three, and then this comes off. I'm just going to start with three here for now, and we'll put that in the oven. Then we'll take that out of the oven. And here. Next thing I'll do is uh, get the jam. This is, of course, homemade prunes. Um, I don't know how much. Just there goes one scoop on each one. And this is put around like that. Yeah, well, this is a prune jam. I, uh, I guess very popular in Iceland in that time, 1850s when it came to Iceland, and was so popular then first immigrants came to Canada in 1875. And this is, uh, there is a cinnamon, cloves, lemon, water, sugar, 
and boiled for quite a while. And I just buy the pitted prunes. So here we got one wiener tarta. Looks pretty good. Now we just have to icing, ice it, put some icing on it. Here is one I made uh, last night. I made it square. I, I made uh, few of those last night, and uh, that's how it looks looks when it's finished. Like this one is seven layers. That's how it looks when I take it to the market. Thank you.